what, what the lady's talking about. What's up, family? Fellas, imagine checking out a chick on IG. You like what you see. You like them big, but little waist, pretty face. You like her so much, you start communicating with her. And you fly out, or you fly in to your city to visit. You spend 400 bucks on a ticket. She gets to your career and she is not what you imagined. She's still cute in the face, but the body ain't quite what you thought it was. The waist takes up more space and the butt ain't as cut. What do you do? Well, this one guy who calls himself Bigger Billy, he called her out. He called out in a savage, savage video, fam. It was, it was horrible. Police might question him for this video. He was really hard on her. Dude told her straight up, you're not what you look like in those Instagram pictures. Yeah, you know, I ain't saying you're ugly, but you know, your body ain't what I saw. Your waist was all perfect. You were small and now look at it. Uh-uh, no. Get out. He kicked out and would not pay for her to get back home. First of all, fam, let me say something. Y'all women better stop jumping on these planes, flying in to kick it with dudes you don't know. You better stop. You should have never started because I know you see these cases where women get killed all the time by these guys who fly them in for a rendezvous and they end up having to do a, a search party. You better stop jumping on these planes, flying out to see these dudes and kicking with these dudes that you don't know. Hell, you gotta be careful kicking it with dudes you do know. So imagine kicking it with somebody you don't even know. So this dude puts her out. And by the way, this guy is a guy who claims to be a high value man. He says he's a high value man. He drives a nice car, lives in a nice house. He wears fly jewelry, clothes, got the bread, everything. So he considers himself a high value man. Let me tell you something, fam. I think when you fly a chick in, you don't know. You just find this chick in, you just met some chick on the internet and you got hypnotized by her body, you get what you get. So you take two to tango. And I don't see myself being a high value man, just flying some chick in, I don't really even know. I got to know, you know, hey, man, maybe we can get there at some point. But then again, I don't know how long he, how long they've been kicking it. I don't know how long they've been, you know, he's been hypnotized by those photos. Here's the thing. Fellas, women too. Stop looking at the photos. Pay attention to the video. It's harder to adjust that video. It's a whole lot harder. It's a whole lot harder. You can easily hide behind, behind photos. You can conceal your whole gender. You can conceal anything you want to behind a photo. And you're just sending text messages and DMs. You don't know who you're talking to. And you don't know where that person is. You don't know if that person is in the next room of the building that you're in or the house you're in. Or if that person is somewhere in a foreign country. You don't know where that person is. You don't know if you're talking to the FBI. You should be suspicious of all correspondence via the internet. So, personally, you know, I think both of them got what they deserved. 
Because you can fly somebody in, you kicking it like that, you can fly somebody in when they get where they're going, they can make a phone call and send them hitters your way. Next thing you know, you're struggling to breathe. Happens all the time. But I will say this, fellas. I learned this a long time ago. And I'm self-taught pretty much in this experience. There was a time when a chick did something dirty to me. She did something dirty to me. And I was going to leave her in New York City. I was going to leave her. This is during my Cowboy Western days, fellas. So, you know, give me a little latitude, a little grace, okay? I was going to leave her. And my buddy said, man, don't do that. Man, don't do that, man. Don't leave that girl out here. And if he wouldn't have gave me that little nudge, he wouldn't have pulled my coattail, I would have left her. I'm glad I didn't because I realized later that, well, not later, I realized when he was telling me this, I started thinking, yeah, I better make sure I get her home safely because she could say anything. She can get back to Houston or she can be in New York and make a phone call and say, yo, Willie D did this. You know, they can lie, right? This happens a lot. A lot of times when dudes, you know, are out on a date or whatever, or they're with a girl and it don't go right and you leave a chick somewhere, you know, you are not a gentleman. You don't make sure she get back safely. Man, women sometimes, man, what do they say? Hell knows no fury like a woman scorned. Hell knows no fury like a woman left in New York City. <laughs> a woman from Houston left in New York City. Fam, if you are going to take a woman anywhere, you make sure she get back safely where you picked her up at. Make, her, or make sure she gets back to a safe place. She gets, you don't, if you go out on a date with a woman, she y'all drive separate vehicles. I don't care even if you're taking over. You make sure she get in that car safely. You make sure she drive away safely. If she had too much to drink, you take control and you get her home. Whether you're driving her, or you get her Uber, or you call somebody that she knows, a friend or whatever, take a phone, whatever. You take control of the situation. And you're doing it for two reasons. One, to protect her. Two, to protect yourself. Uh, that's my advice. You can do what you want, but I wouldn't have done it. I would not fly a woman in to see me and not make sure she got back home safely. I wouldn't do that. I would have made sure she got on that plane. She got back to where she was going. Hell, I probably would have took her all the way to the damn ticket booth. I thought I'd have made sure she got that bag checked in or she, when she walked through that little old uh, security space, bam, I'm good. And see, and here's a good thing about that security thing, instead of just seeing her off and letting her get in the car. I mean, you could do that. You should be okay if she get into a car, a vehicle and drive off, especially if you got cameras, you need that type of proof. But yeah, man, I'd probably take her all the way to the damn airport. Get out, make sure she's straight. I don't need that type of karma coming back on me, man. I don't need that. It's too much going on out there. And it's also, even when things go right, you want to do that. Even when it's a great date and everything, you still want to be a gentleman in that regard because anything can happen, fam. And there's a lot of predators out there. So, you want the same uh, respect. You want to give the same respect and same consideration that you would expect someone to give to your daughter, or your mother, or your sister. That's all I got to say about that, fam. But what say you? Who's wrong? Bigger Valley for getting a woman all the way to Miami and kicking her out of his house or the woman who calls herself Aura for K 
catfishing him and not being who she claimed to be on IG. No more talk. What the talking about? Yeah.